it, it it's it's hard to to judge that sometimes because DPSing and tanking, there's very small differences that changes one from the other. So it, to just go out and say one is that and one is the other, I don't know yet because I haven't played this game enough. So I have to I'll just have to figure that out at a different point in time. Um Wait, which one's here? Collect river worn stone charms from lost loot and collect river oh 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 Hey, can I see the other one? Acquire Bezar Stone. Use items. There are items that really want, that you may valuable from Marauder campaign. Acquire the stone. Okay, fair enough. I will attempt to gather the stone. I'm assuming, however, we really need to go up this way and get into the encampment. Okay. Just grabbing some bushes again. Kind of keeping my fingers crossed here that maybe, just maybe at some point in time. Ooh. I don't know what the fuck that was, but that's pretty cool. Now I know that's there. Alright, you. Come here. I do really like the fact that there's so many different areas, and we have really only gotten through the first couple. Um, or n not even through the first couple, really. It's, um, what is this? River Warren Grotto. Oh, well, I guess the the grotto is a secondary thing that I can go into if I want to, from what it looks like, or that is what I have to go into to do the quest. Mm, I'm not sure. It kind of looks like I can choose to try to find the shit out here. Although, I'm assuming that I'm going to eventually run out. Yeah, so there's both the, ch the charms and the stones outside. And I cannot defend against guns. That is greatly annoying. Okay. Let's go ahead and just... I think that's all the ones I can get from out here. At least it's what it seems like. So. Let's just go ahead and head inside. It's not like it's really going to affect me too much if I go inside opposed to standing out here. Fighting me? Oh yeah, you are. That was rather annoying, you cheap little fucker. You can't actually even fight me, fair. You gotta fucking shoot me from a distance, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Although I guess, in all fairness, that uh is fair for that person. Supplies, stockpiles, and more shit I can't gather yet. Right? Mining skill. Oh, okay. So, mining skill. So, 30, 30 kind of seems to be like the 
just about good um, level to be for just about everything. I'm about to say, dude, you're not going to fucking beat me. Just die. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're definitely going to um, hurt a little bit, but you're not going to beat me. Um, okay, let's go to... What is it? J? Yeah, no, it's not. K. Okay. Um, attribute points. Well, I might as well just do constitution. Commit the points. And now, logging speed is faster. All health consumables are 20% stronger, which is fantastic. The bow now. Skirmishman, evader shot, hunter, shoot arrows, deal. Fuck. See, this is always the fucking toss-up. Well, I'm a fucking... We'll just do Hunter. Because this isn't... This is a fucking tanking class. This is not a... I twinkle toes to fuck around and fight you class. Let's be honest here. I... I have my doubts that I'd ever actually be able to do a Twinkle Toes class, but at the same time, too, I can't completely say that because when I was younger and I was playing Skyrim, I did make a class that was a uh, sneaky thief. So, and that's how I played the game. I did have a tank, too, but it was not. I find for solo player games, I tend to gear more towards being like the sneaky thief of assassin to at least for some games and then for multiplayer games i tend to be the tank i don't know why it's just like a force of habit um that i've always done i mean rune even yeah even in runescape i was still the fucking tank although saying you were a tank in runescape is kind of um it's kind of a toss-up there when you say that, because at the same token, being a tank in RuneScape is kind of like you're quick at pressing the, f the, the button to eat fish. Not downplaying that, but that's just the truth. Or at the same token, you uh, have... Um, uh, what else am I doing? Okay. Oops, I almost... Okay, so I need to go that way. What is that? That's turkey. Because it, and, and getting back to the RuneScape thing, um, you can be a tank if you have high defense and you have pretty much just high everything. The higher level you are, obviously, the better you are at being a tank. But it does also matter, too, whether or not you have healers and stuff. So that's kind of the one thing that I always, it, it was weird for me when people would talk about RuneScape when I was younger. Because a lot of people had, um... I mean, I would consider it a, mi a misconception for RuneScape because everybody was uh, playing WoW, or majority of people that were playing MMOs were playing WoW. And obviously in WoW, you pick, like, a class. And RuneScape was... I, I mean, it's kind of like this. It was just very open to the point that you didn't have to um, force yourself to be... A, a stagnant class you were able to pretty much just do whatever you want whenever you wanted as long as you were willing to put in the time and the work to unlock the um, whatever tier or not whatever tier unlock the classes you were trying to go into like for instance I'm talking about like if you wanted to have good defense you just focused on defense you wanted to have good attack you focused on attack and then so, and same thing for strength. 
You know, it was, uh... I mean, in, in my opinion, there's never going to be a game like RuneScape as in a whole. I think that there will definitely be games like it, and then, like, mixes of RuneScape and WoW. I mean, I, I know that WoW and RuneScape both are still active, but as uh, coming from an older an older player that was playing the games, uh, I mean, I guess the correct word would just be back in the day. Um, there, the differences in the games is just so astonishing. Like, if you go play RuneScape now, it's like, in my opinion, it's corny. And what I mean by that is last time I played, it was just like, so goofy and, um, just different. And, I mean, I, I, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm not saying it's good, because the chances are I might actually play it and uh, record some of it on here. It's just kind of the other thing, too, where do I want to spend money each month to have a membership because I'm not going to play the game and not have a membership. So, um, that's just kind of my own personal... Um, thing is I'm not just going to not play the game the way I want it. And, you know... For me, the majority of the things that make RuneScape interesting to me is membership. Which is probably the only thing WoW has on RuneScape, in my opinion. Well, that's not true. They both have uh, things that are that are better for one or the other. But in my opinion, uh, WoW is much better for somebody who wants to pay for something once and then you just have the game. RuneScape is a lot more open-ended, but holy fuck, no. Um, but RuneScape is a lot more open-ended to the fact that you can, um, do whatever you want at any point in time. You don't have to make a different class, level it all the way the fuck up, and go back through the, uh, the struggle that you went through previously to um to get back to where you were and what i mean by that is the uh like nobody wants to start a new character and get your fucking wood cutting back up to a high level or your crafting your mining all that kind of shit like, the kind of stuff that in this game I'm, like, jumping past for the most part. Or, like, if I run past a bush, I'll grab it real quick. Like, that's harvestable. Or if there's, like, harvestable items that are near me, I just grab them real quick. Because it helps towards the final uh, outcome. Or the final level. But, I mean, you know, in games like that, it's just, it's really difficult for me when I was playing WoW that I would make a class, get really good with it, and I'd have the whatever it was real fucking high, and then I'd be like, oh, I kind of want to try, um, you know, um, uh, magic out, or I want to try archery out, and then you have to make a new fucking character, and next thing you know, you have another thousand hours into making a character just because you wanted to try a different way of playing so and now with all that being said i'm not prejudiced to either one i still liked both of them so don't get me wrong they're both great games but they're both great games in their own rights and like I said, there's just different things you got to decide whether or not you're okay with or if you care. Which is, I think, why I'm kind of enjoying this game, too. Because you get the faction idea, like, from WoW. I mean, now, granted, you're not... Like, you don't get to pick characters, which... The character thing was always fun for me. That was cool. 
but um, yeah, you, you don't get to pick the, the character thing, which kind of sucks a little bit. There's not, like, other kind of characters you can play as, but at the same time, I mean, that's, that's fine. Um, but you get to have the ability to, you know, choose what kind of weapon you want to use. You just have to use it to get better with it, and then obviously you can, you know, pro I'm assuming you can get better with all of the weapons, and it's not a specific weapon class that you're gonna have to stick with um oh did we did we get it is it is the faction quest done it is faction quest is finished um okay let's go over here now uh but yeah so it'll just be interesting to see what all the new uh games coming out here look like But yeah, and I do like to keep an open mind with all these games, because at the end of the day, each game is its own game. No two games are exactly the same. They can be very similar, but as far as being exactly the same, never gonna, it's never going to happen. Unless the same company is making it, and then still it'll, it'll have little things that are different. I would say probably the games that are the closest to each other would probably be Ark Survival Evolved and Atlas. They were made by the same people. Obviously, one is dinosaurs and the other one is... Well, it still kind of has dinosaurs. But, um... It has more regular animals as well. It's kind of hard to explain that because they both do actually have dinosaurs. But, um... And they both have regular creatures to some degree. But, anyway, anybody who's played it understands what I mean. Atlas was just, um, in my, when I played, was just kind of a little unrefined to actually be enjoyable. So, plus, Atlas is really hard to play by yourself. It's not, it's not. <laughs> easy to be a, a one-man pirate. So. Whereas, and then you jump over to um, Ark Survival Evolved, it's really easy to be a, a single player on Ark. I mean, there, there are certain things that you're limited to do because of the fact you're by yourself, but it's, the, the limitations on things is so, um, small, it's not, it's not that crazy. Good lord. These fucking, um, worm things are gonna, I'm gonna go nuts trying to fucking do this. Other fucking quest. Fuck out of here, because I really don't. I'm not trying to deal with you shooting me with fucking guns. But yeah, there are quite a few games I am, uh, interest in playing here in the near future. A couple of them I already have downloaded and some of them I'm waiting for them to officially come out. But... Somebody's shooting me. Oh, you. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. Another game, too, that I'm interested in playing 
um, in a little bit is going to be Albion online too. I haven't uh, had the chance to actually set up and play it, but it kind of falls under the same thing where there's only so many hours in the day and you really can't play everything in the same time or all at once. So, like the last two weekends were uh, Ark Survival Evolve real heavy. Played it a little bit this weekend. Um, this weekend is definitely um, more uh, this game, New World, and getting ourselves delved into this game. Obviously, it's going to be a little while before we can start the, uh, m the majority of the faction stuff, but that'll really just be until we get to a certain level, which will probably, I mean, a, a little bit of the level stuff I'll be doing all on my own time, but some of it I'll be able to do on camera with you guys, like doing quests and stuff like that is actually, uh, I think it's enjoyable at least. When recording, I do try to uh, think about all the stuff that I used to like to watch when I was younger before I actually started making my own videos and kind of, I'm not going to say simulate that, but try to make videos that I would like to watch. Which I think, you know, leveling doing quests and running around figuring stuff out is exactly what I would want to watch. Hmm. Okay, now the question is is where exactly in my head I'm assuming down here maybe yes it actually did get me me talking about runescape and wow actually did kind of make me interested to see what's going on with him again wow though I'd have to I'd have to fucking recover the account I used because I really don't know what any of that was. That's been years ago. I think the last time I played WoW, I was still... Fuck, what was that? The last time I played WoW, I was a... Sophomore in high school? Uh, I think. RuneScape was a lot... Was, was much sooner than that. I think RuneScape, I last played that like three years ago. But, it's a... Uh, It still has been a little while. Am, am I right? I, I'm pretty sure I am. RuneScape's been about three years, and um, WoW's been since about sophomore in high school. Probably junior, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was junior was the, the last year I played WoW. But even saying that, I mean, you're talking about I was playing WoW as a little kid and playing. I was playing WoW in like. Uh, you gave Master Henry the what for? Like sixth grade, and I was playing RuneScape in like third grade, roughly.
I salute you, fellow Marauder. We will never give up the fight. And in the end, we will emerge victorious. Yeah, well, the invasion I can't help you with because I'm way too low of a level anyway, so it's not going to work. You've returned. And with my stone charms, I presume? Indeed. Unfortunately, it's difficult to get any work done around that nettlesome survivalist. I suggest you avoid him at all costs. Yes. It must be some bizarre, crude sense of humor that drives someone like Odda Lee. The man has the nerve to say I don't stand up for myself. My former... friend fell to the corrupted in the shadow mine area. In fact, you could go there and exact vengeance. Then tell Adnil. Perhaps he'll finally leave me alone. I really doubt that because I'd be the one doing it. Get up here and deposit some stuff and then I guess I gotta go to storage too and throw some stuff in there because I definitely have um oh uh, whoops a full bag Uh, well, the reality of this is, is that there ain't no way in fuck I'm going to be able to do these down here just yet. I need to be level 20. So. And now we're going to be walking. Fucking slow as shit. You know what? I actually didn't check to see me. Um, Claw Shirt Barbarian, not interested. Not interested. I guess I can sell that shit. That sucks. Well, I guess we're... I hate to scrap that, though, because it has 10 strength, but it is what it is. Okay, we'll hold on to all that stuff. Let me go over here. Put that in there. What's this? 205, 250, intelligence. Just tossing every fucking thing in here because we don't need it. At least not right now. Cool. All right, guys. So I am going to real quick take a break, get myself some more coffee and then come back and get some more stuff done. So I'm thinking we'll probably go get these two quests right here.
Let me see how far away all this stuff is pretty much just back going to the same areas we were just in. That's level 16. So what I'll probably do is when I come back, I'll probably spend some time doing some of the smaller um, stuff, kind of like gathering and all that crap and just focus on leveling myself up. And then I will go from there and see what happens, see what time it is, see what I want to do, and yeah. So, all right, guys, for now, this is signing off. I will catch you all next recording for a continuation on all of the quests and to try to make it to level 20 so we can start doing some of these little towers that are all over the place. So, that will be for the next one. So, alright guys, catch y'all later. Bye for now.